Hey, what's happening, guys? It is Friday the 20th. I will be taking off today, so you're not going to see much of me. Uh, if you're trying to reach me today, it's going to be kind of on the fly. We're going to do the best we can to get a hold of each other. I got to take care of some uh, business outside of state. Literally, it's just going to be a quick turn and burn. Um, not real quick, uh, not not long away. Um, probably going to come back wore out, more than likely. So a um, couple of things. Uh, interesting situation. Yesterday, I got in the vehicle, actually picked up my daughter from school a little bit late. She was, uh, had practice last, yesterday afternoon. If she gets back in, she's... She's fighting through some things with people. She's fighting through the reaction of others on how they handle the world because of what's going on in their life. So she was, you know, dealing with with how to handle life when it feels like others are going to lash out at you, even though there's no real reason for them to lash at you, right? For to her. And I had to just really just, you know, listen and then let her know it's like the one thing we cannot do is control of the people. We can't control them. We have no say in what they do, how they act, how they think. We can only control us. So the best thing she could possibly do is just remember to keep control of herself, control of her reaction to things, and just know and, and, and not worry about what other people think or other people are doing. Even if they're you work with them, you go to school with them, you're in the same house with them. You can only do the best you can for them and for yourself, but it's up to them to make their own decisions and act the way they need to act. You can't dictate that. You got to take care of you. By taking care of you, you take care of them in reality. When you're not taking care of yourself, you're actually creating problems for other people and sometimes things that they need to take care of. Take care of you. Do what you need to get done and hope for the best of those other folks. Care about them. Do the best you can by them. But when it comes to what they choose to do, there's nothing you can do about it. You, you got to let them make their own decisions, hope that they make the best decisions. So where are we at this week? We've had a lot of stuff going on in the market, but interestingly enough, we had the Fed, you know, talking in the last, I mean, a lot of conversation uh, coming from the Fed, and there's a lot of notes and ministers coming out about that. Typically, that has a massive negative movement, and that all came out over these last couple of days, and we're not seeing, I mean, yeah, the 4.0 is taking a little bit of a, uh, taking on the chin this morning. Yes, it is. We got some support below us, though, that looks like it's holding that support. Um, and if you look back to the last 30 days, we're still stronger than we have been the last 30 days. So if you've been quoted in the last 30 days, you're, there's only a little bit of a window here where it would have been slightly better than we are right now. And it's very, very minuscule differential. So I'm actually encouraged that we haven't seen more movement than that. Uh, and when you're speaking with respect to movement, let's switch over to the 2.0 here. 2.0 also, I mean, look at it. I mean, it's, it's sitting on support. We're probably going to, we're, we're probably range bound a little bit sideways here probably going to form a whole new channel. It could do like we did here, this upper channel. We could end up seeing that start to happen here. The way that uh, I'll just kind of draw the draw how that could look. You know, so we could see this climb back up this direction, right? If it continues on that particular pattern, creates a whole new channel for us. You know, that that the the rates for for owner occupied continue to go up this direction, which of course will stimulate the rest of the bond buying, continue to keep our rates low in the mortgage-backed securities, as well as the, I'm going to call them private securities, if you will, but it's kind of like that when it comes to the uh, investor property deals that we're doing. So I'm not seeing anything that's really alarming today. We have a little bit rougher day in the more, in the, uh, in the 4.0, the 3.5 is a little bit better than that. I'm thinking we're probably going to be okay going into the weekend. Can't be for certain but we're definitely better than we have been over these last uh, last few weeks. So have yourself a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys on Tuesday. Always, thanks for subscribing. We'll talk to you soon.